Good morning, everybody. Let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us begin by acknowledging our sins and opening ourselves to God's pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that school through a Lenten observance and nourished by your word through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let's go for the readings. It's a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully. For thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has gods so close to it as the Lord, our God, is to, is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard, not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial song. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the, Lord, glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth and swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jer Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Gospel of the Lord. So our gospel today, um, Jesus is talking about the laws, but um, I think he's not talking about the whole code of laws. I think he's definitely talking about the two what he says that are most important, love of God and love of our neighbor. And these are what he's going to fulfill. Everything else is a fulfillment of those two commandments. And so he's going to say, or he's saying that I'm going to fulfill this. And nothing's going to take away that. In fact, everything that he does and will do is about love of God 
love of our neighbor. So I think for ourselves, the challenge for us is, are we going to fulfill the law as well? <coughs> Excuse me. Are we going to fulfill the law? How are we going to love God and love our neighbor? And clearly, these times right now are going to test us and are going to challenge us. Uh, I hope they're going to make us feel creative in how we can love God and love one another. Um, I was just thinking earlier today, uh, right now, uh, one of the things I'm going to do and one of my actions is I'm going to reach out to my support group, my priest support group, which we haven't been in really much of a, a touch uh, for the past couple of years. So tonight, we've already arranged, we're going to FaceTime with each other just to connect because I think we need to connect. Uh, I need to connect. I don't know about them. And I think the rest of us, you know, we can ask ourselves, how are we going to love? Um, how are we going to connect with one another via social media like we're doing now? Are we going to call? Are we going to write? Uh, are we going to make ourselves available to the best that we can to help people in need? This is how we're going to love God and love our neighbor. And this is how we're going to fulfill the law. So let's continue to do that, okay? So let us uh, offer up our prayers, and it's a great way of showing love for God and others. And let's pray for this world and all those in need. And so we pray for our church. Uh, we pray for our mission to love God, love our neighbor, and to help each other uh, fulfill that, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for this world, our world. Uh, we pray for uh, the ability to see good in each other, the ability to work together so that we can end this crisis we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, we pray for those who maybe aren't fe are feeling unloved, uh, those who have been feeling pushed away, isolated, not just because of virus, but because of, cho of, of uh, choices in life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, we pray for um, those who are in our parish who are experiencing just normal things, uh, sad things, we keep in prayer uh, Ross and Nelda McGee as they face their health issues. Uh, we keep in prayer to uh, a couple uh, in a joyful way. They're going to have a C-section tomorrow, and their uh, two twins, or their twins are going to be born tomorrow. So we keep them in prayer. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for the intention of our Mass today, for the special intention of Teresa Kennedy, teacher here in our school, who is facing her own health issues. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. If you have any other prayers, make them silently right now. And for all prayers that we hold in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. And Heavenly Father, we know that you love us. Guide us in your love so that we may share this with all peoples and help build your kingdom here on earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight be pleasing to you, Lord God. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people, along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, 
They may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that internally endure. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fun of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Randolph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by his divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And we offer a sign of peace the best that we can. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet to which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please bow your heads to receive a blessing. And give to your people, our God, a resolve that is pleasing to you. For by conforming them to your teachings, you bestow on them every favor through Christ our Lord. Amen. So our Mass is ended. Y'all go forth in the peace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? So thank you all for being with me. We had about 20 so persons watching. I'll do this again tomorrow. And tomorrow is the feast day of St. Joseph. So I will want to do this. Uh, probably Father Mike will not do this on Friday, so then I'll be back here on Monday morning, okay? And then plus the weekend as well. Take care of yourselves. Uh, be patient, okay? Love you. Bye-bye.